Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Single class of products, major business opportunities. And what do I mean by single class of products? It could be, it could be anything from uh, books, it could be soaps, personal, you know, other uh, personal care products, types, uh, anything, anything, laptops. But you create major business opportunities by focusing on it. And when I say focusing on it, um, you know, you not only create a business for yourself, but um, it's also representative of an industry. Because I was thinking about that the other day. You know, because I told you I still buy comic books, mostly the mostly the adult ones and everything. And I was at my local comic book store, and I'm real cool with a young lady that works there. Real, she's a real sweetie, and you know, she sees me, she knows my box, everything. And I was, I went in, and then I noticed there was some stuff moved around. I was like, what is this? And then I looked over at the wall; they are actually expanding the store. So because the store next to them is going, it was owned by an older lady or the business was owned by an older lady and she's decided to retire. And she was in her 80s. So it was a good run. And I was just like, wow, y'all gonna have a lot of space. And then I thought about it, it was like, you know, something as simple as a comic book store is making a lot of money, but that's a, that's a single class of products. And yeah, they have toys in there, they have some clothes, but the main product is comic books. And I was thinking about, I thought about it, cause you know me, and look, l let me just be clear. With ROM, I look at everything and think, money. How can I make money off of that? <laughs> Seriously, I could probably, you know what? I, that's why I, when I started this channel, and when it was called ROM Wheels About That Business, most of my videos were focused on just thought out business ideas for people. <laughs> business ideas but anyway I digress but I was thinking about um, just if you just think it's just comic books okay you have that store that's one thing but then you have such an industry there I mean you have the writers the editors the artists and everything so that's one the little companies that's one uh, that's creating a business um, to print the books just to print the books, that's a business right there. Printing is a business. In fact, I'm gonna get into uh, my main industry anyway. My main industry in a second, which I had thought about. And um, you know, I hadn't talked about specifically black businesses in a while, but I'm getting to it in a second. But getting back to the comic book thing, I was thinking about, it's like, okay, you got that. There's a major book distributor, major comic book distributor that's also, that's actually in the Baltimore area. And I remember when the guy started off just with uh, just a little comic book store I would go to more that's more in the D.C. area. Now, this guy got a major distribution network, He's distrib distributing comic books globally. OK, that's a business. It's like it's one little class of products created. Now, I mentioned the stuff about uh, hadn't talked about black business specifically in a while, but one of the industries, if you really look at it, I got started with my publishing business with my books primarily in black bookstores that specialize in selling uh, books by black writers. Because, and you know, you actually have, and you know, I'll use a, a black business example, but every, you know, you got a lot of groups that have books uh, specifically for them, specifically for them in stores. Because one of the issues with a major bookstore is you got a ton of books in there and just the way they have it, they'll display your book for a couple of weeks and it's good to say you have it in there. But it's a different when it's a small bookstore focusing on stuff. I mean, you have bookstores that focus on uh, maybe a political things, uh, definitely the comic book stores, that's, that's part of that. But I was thinking about uh, the black books industry the back in the day, because I was, remember a conversation I had with uh, a store owner, a bookstore owner, and he said, you know, you can create a whole industry just based on the black books. Because think about it, not only you have the writers, but then you have the publishers, you have the printers, you have the printers, you need distribution, you need the stores themselves, marketing teams and everything. 
you know, because everything, if you look at any business, now that's one example just specifically regarding black books, but that's anything, really. That's anything with any group. It's like, if you have just a singular product, it, it, has, it should be a product. Because the thing with any product, I don't care what it is, it could be a book, it could be clothing, it could be personal care products. Um, you have to get it to the people. So it, it creates so much like, okay, say you're a soap maker. All right. First of all, it creates opportunities for the people you get in the materials to make the soap from. That's business. Okay. So that's creating some business. You have some people, they come up with the raw materials. Uh, you probably need, um, well, with handmade soaps, usually some people, they just put them in like a little bag or something, but somebody needs to make the bags. <laughs> Somebody, somebody needs to make it, or if you like have lotions or something, uh, they need to make containers for it. All right, you need a place to sell it. Okay, that's creating real estate opportunities. That's creating real estate. You need, you need some place to sell it, even if it's out of your home. <laughs> it's just like you need some place to sell it, or say you ha have to ship it. Okay, you need to create packaging for shipping and everything. Then, of course, all of it gets into transportation and logistics. That's why I always say if truck drivers go on strike, this country comes to a standstill. This country comes to a standstill because you got to get products from A to B. Delivery services. I mean, if you look at Amazon, someplace, and I'll call their name, they're so ubiquitous now. But if, when I'm sitting in my office here just looking out, there's always an Amazon truck. But that's logistics. you got to get a product from point A to point B. So that's creating business opportunities. You know, marketing the product. Um, so many things, if you look, I don't care what the business is, if it involves a product especially, especially if it involves a product, so much goes into it. Services aren't the same. Somebody can perform a service like individually. It doesn't really create extra jobs other than maybe um, tools for that service. But especially for products, though, products, because if, OK, if I look at my own business, OK, I have books. All right. That's great. I have to ship those books. You know, well, first of all, I had to get them printed printers. Um, I could market them better, but yeah, let's just say I market them. Well, well actually, what I, my videos actually market the video, I actually market my books. So that's marketing, but somebody had to create the platform for me to market it on. See, understand that. See, one of the things with businesses in general is not just that business, but so much. So much is connected because you got to, you know, if I look at my books, somebody had to create the paper for it to be printed on. <laughs> it should, even if you talk about like electronic books, you might have to create the devices that you can read the book electronically. It's, it's so much. If you really think about it, just really think about it. Like any business, like if you get into, see, one of the keys, honestly, you know, we always talk about recession, but whenever somebody comes up with a new product or products that people use, they stay in business. And that's the key. And, you know, let me just say a quick tangent about the whole recession thing. A lot of it is just based on, you know, the businesses aren't growing. But one thing I will say, just in general, there's still always businesses people need. So, you know, and that's that's more on a tangent and it depends on how you look at things. But for the main subject of this particular video, just think about whatever product you have that you can create. And it could be, oh, it don't even have to be just a product. It could be food or something. So food type. Like, say, I've known people who've actually shipped food. <laughs> They've actually shipped food. So it's, it's, it's something. And so that's creating stuff. The logistics, the packaging, all of that. Marketing, all of that stuff. Uh, just even where you're getting the products from to make the food, the ingredients. So... I want you to think about that. Just And this is more just a philosophical thing. Really just think about it. Remember, I don't care what you do, something's connected to it. For me to do these videos, well, I needed a laptop that's connected, that's playing music from my uh, cable channel. I needed this camera. I needed this phone to create, uh, to create it. 
uh, just the imaging. Somebody had to create the shirt, the image I'm presenting, uh, the microphone I'm using. So is the singular product, class of product, okay, making a video. But look at everything going at the video, the lights I have up. Somebody had to create those lights. So one of the things to understand is there's always a business opportunity connected with everything. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>